Hello everyone, this is Michael. I just wanted to create a quick addendum video to the Create Polygon Tool video I put out relatively recently as of this recording. So I did miss something relatively major with the Create Polygon Tool. I want to thank the viewer Casca Ripe, and I'm, I'm sorry if I mispronounced your username. So he did uh, let me know that there was the option to create holes in the faces that you create with the Create Polygon tool. And to be honest, I did not know that. That was a piece of uh, information that has slipped by me all these years that I've used this tool. So let me demonstrate how it works. So we're still in the modeling menu set and the Create Polygon tool is still found under Mesh Tools. So under Mesh Tools, we'll say Create Polygon. And we'll go into the options and I'll make sure all this is reset and close that now. So just like we talked about in the original video, if I click and start making a face, before you complete the face by hitting enter, like right now if I hit enter, the face gets created. I'm gonna hide the grid for now. The face gets created like this. And once the face is created after you hit enter, you can no longer do this trick, this uh, kind of hidden feature of adding a hole to the face. So let's go back and we will do it again under mesh tools, create polygon. So again, I'll start creating a face. And now before you hit enter, hold down the control key. Now, once I click once within the face after holding down control, now release control and then continue to create a hole. And then you can see right there, a hole in the face opens up. And then now once you hit enter, you have a face with a hole in it. So there's always something new to learn for anybody, even someone like me who's been using my forever. So thanks very much for uh, letting me know about that feature. That's awesome. Another thing I wanted to bring up, if I hit Control A to open the attribute editor, you can see here there's the poly create face attributes here. So there is a couple things I wanted to show. In the video, if you will recall, I was having difficulty with the Create Polygon Tools Division setting. If we look at that, Mesh Tools, Create Polygon Options. We have these div this Divisions setting, and there, it seems to be bugged. If I increase this up to two, for example, and try to click and drag, you can see there the edge that I'm expecting to make. When I let go, the edge goes back down to this point, and then it gets subdivided. So you can see how it's not very controllable. It's very inaccurate and unreliable whenever you have the divisions increase beyond one. Let me take that back down. I hit the reset. But I did find that in the attribute editor, after you've made the face, if you go to the poly create face tab here in the attribute editor, you can increase the subdivisions here. If I increase this to two and then right click and choose vertices, you can see all my edges have been subdivided. But when I increase that to two, increase it to three and you see they all get subdivided by three. So that is, I suppose, a workaround for that issue. Let me take that back down to one for now. And also you can see here we have a, the vertices list here and you can see each click that I made and their XYZ coordinates. Do so you see the Y is all at zero since it's a flat uh, face on the Y axis. But then you, you see the X coordinate and the Z coordinate here. Yeah, let me uh, actually make a new one. Let's go to Mesh Tools, Create Polygon, and I'll not worry about the hole in the middle this time. So here you can see I have one, two, three, four, five clicks, and then one, two, three, four, five vertices displayed here. Now there is this Add New Item button, and it will add like a fifth click, a fifth vertice. And if you kind of type in some values here, it doesn't actually seem to add in a new vertice, as far as I can tell. So adding a new item to this list does not seem to actually add a point to the face. However, what you can do is if I control click and drag on these XYZ coordinates, you can move and edit the existing point positions like so. Of course, you also can just right click on here, choose vertices, and then move the vertex manually. However, you'll notice that when you do that, 
it does not reflect that change here. This is actually a history item based on where you initially clicked that point and not actually updating to show you the new position of that point after you move it manually. So just keep that in mind. But in any case, I wanted to show you that here in the attribute editor, you can increase those subdivisions to uh, get that effect when divisions does not work. And also I wanted to show you how to create the hole in the create polygon base. So yeah, I missed a couple things there. I do try not to miss things. Occasionally it does happen. I don't always see the need to create an addendum if it's something small, but in this case, I did miss quite a little bit here. So anyway, thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you later.